Hello everyone and welcome back to Stray. In this episode we're going to be doing chapter 3 called The Flat. So without further ado, let's get started. So at the end of the very last episode we left it off here because it's the very end of chapter 2. And so yeah, let's begin. Um, the only way I can think of stopping that fan is by getting this. And that kills the power, so that's good. This cat is very smart. Alright. Chapter 3, The Flat. Okay, let's jump up here. What have we got? Anything? Cool bed. Anything noteworthy to explore here? Oh, we can jump onto the sink apparently. But yeah, no. Let's go through here. What have we got here? Ah, we have got our scratching opportunity for this chapter. We have to do one every chapter, and in this chapter, it unlocked pretty early. So yeah. Let's mark our territory. This is imperative, guys. Make sure to not miss this. Alright. I think that's enough. It's left a pretty decent scratch there. Okay. Let's take a look around. Oop, climb on top of the books. Oh, the books fell. <laughs> I guess we can't get up there anymore. Um, what have we got here? More books. Should we knock those over too? Ah, we got on the chair this time. Yep, those books are gone as well. Um, what have we got here? All oh, right, is this a TV or something? No, it's a comp. Oh wow, okay. Oh wow, okay. I didn't expect that to the. That sound is very. What what's the word? ASMR. Yeah, it's very ASMR to to hear keyboard clicking. At least for me, like, and it's even more cute that a cat's doing it. Yeah, that's it's a good touch. Enter the door. Turn on. Wait, what? Did I say find a body? Oh, okay. Yeah, that got a little bit. It's good wordplay, I'll give them that, but that got a little bit scary. Alright, um. What body are we finding? This door just got unlocked. Gotta be very careful when I walk in here. Why do I feel like there's a jump scare somewhere? Oh god. Oh, okay. Phew, okay, nothing so far. Um, let's climb the stool. Yep, if I meow, the CCTV's not at me. That's very good touch. Binary here. Um, I think we've already been on this ledge. Um, oh, okay, is that a lever or a lever? Yes, alright. Computer transportation of some sort. Just made a book fall to the ground. And there is something we can do here, apparently climb up here but there's something there too which I'm not wait what is that does this go in there oh okay oh, okay I didn't think it would be like that all right I'm pretty sure I saw one up here then when I first entered this room, I wasn't sure what the hell that was. How do I get back up there? 
There was definitely one up there. I think it was from the stool. Yep. Yeah, there's definitely one there. See? Yep. Good memory from me. Yeah, so that was about a fall, but he somehow grabbed it. <laughs> we just ignore that. We ignore that. Jump to the ground. Ah, uh, yep. Let's take one and put it in. That's what she said, but no. That's not what I meant. Um... Is that one here? Is that one there? Yep, it is. There's three, and we have to look for the final one now, guys. Um, where could it be? Where have I not looked? Up there, maybe? Oh yeah, it is up there. I see. I think I see it now. Yep. Let's move the. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to move. It. There we go. Let's climb up here. Up here, and I think there we go. That's the final one. That's a cute sound as he landed. Can he meow? No, he can't because there's something in our mouth. But. Uh, Let's attach this in. And there we go. What's gonna happen now? Okay, some pathway kind of has been unlocked. What the hell is that? That white lighting does not help make this game less scary. Okay. Sure, let's go in. Silently. No meowing. Okay, nothing in here that I can see so far. Um, anything here? Nope. Now what? Oh, we could climb up there. I see something. Wait, whoa. What was that? There's something that fell here, here. What is that? Uh, do we put his head on here? It looks like a head, so... I'm not sure if you put it on there. Now let's just drop down. Maybe it's something in here. Ah, okay, so the arrows are all pointing. See, the arrows are all guiding us to here. So I think, yeah, we have to go over here. There we go. sure what a cat would make of this to be honest but it but it's the only companion it's got right now so it worked I'm free thank you I couldn't believe the cameras. A cat in the dead city. I'm... I can't remember my name. It seems my memory is corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I know I worked for a scientist who lived here. 
But now you can call me B12. That's what it says on my exterior. It's dangerous in the dead city, but you seem like you know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here. Follow me. Okay. Let's follow it. Oh, and you get a trophy after that interaction called Not Alone for meeting B12. So that's... That's good. Anyway, yeah. B12. That key unlocks the door. I remember that much. Let me get that for you. Okay. Very good. Battery low already. Come over here. You're gonna have to put this on. Okay. I think it's heavy, that's why I cat this fell over. Yep. It feels like the cat's doing almost squats or lunges, but cat version. You know? I'm not sure how you would describe it, but yeah. Oh, it's fallen over. It's not very fit cat. I mean, all cats are fit in terms of fitness, in terms of cat level, but you know what I mean. Like, it's not the pinnacle of cat strength. It's a normal straight cat. It's fallen over. I think, yeah, I think eventually it'll get used to the weight. This backpack was designed for small quadrupeds like you. Is this is this uncomfortable for you? Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I've digitized the key and stored it in the backpack. Press up on the D-pad to open the inventory. Okay. Ah, so we we have an inventory. That's that's new. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's examine the keys. Very nice keychain as well, I might add. It's something different, you don't see that every day. Memories. Yeah, we can't switch to those yet. Um, yeah, okay. And we don't have any other item either. Yep, stop examining. Oh yeah, here we go, memories. Sensor detecting memory data at proximity. Okay. Easy. Okay. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me. Or to others, if you come across any. Now let's get out of this flat. I'm with you on that one. Um, which way should we go? Not that way. Um, I guess this was the room we were in, right? Before we veered off into that room. So, let's try. Ah, okay, the key we just got might help open this door. Yeah, here we go. Makes sense, yeah, that makes sense. Press the left on the D-pad to use the torchlight. Okay, wow, we have a torch. Jesus, that's bright. Okay. Um... Let's go in here, I suppose. Um, wait, what does that say? Code 3748. Code 3748. What does that mean? I'm not sure, to be honest. Anything else up here? Can we play the piano? We 
you can. Some Beethoven cat skills right here. Okay. Let's get back out. Use digicode. What is that? Oh. So it was imperative that we looked at that code, so because otherwise we couldn't get through. Alright, yeah, that's a good mechanic. So I, luckily I remember it's three, seven, four, eight. If I didn't come across that, I wouldn't have got through. Luckily I explored that room. Alright. Let's get through. Wow, look at this place. That elevator in the distance, that's important I think. I know we need to go up. Okay. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's like a cable car. Wow, okay. I have ridden on a cable car in the one in London in Greenwich. Not the American New York Greenwich, like the Greenwich in London. I think it was called the O2 line. Um, yeah, the cable car there, I've ridden it. I've also ridden the cable car in... Um, I think it was Malaysia to go to Genting or Genting, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but yeah, to go to those highlands to see the, the temples. So, yeah, I have experience in that. It's cool that our little cat friend gets to experience it as well. Um, but yeah, let's take a look. I have to pay even more attention to the walls now because I didn't realize codes would be written on them. But uh, yeah, nothing seems to be written here. What is this? Oh. Wait. I remember. The outside. It feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? I promised someone I would go there. Promised who? Ah, okay, that's because he's, his memory's corrupted so he doesn't remember who he promised. This postcard, the mural from it, the mu- I beg your pardon, the mural was painted from it. Let's take it. Gain new item. Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. New memory recovered. Um, let's take a look at that memory actually. Oh wait, is that the postcard? What does that say? I'm having great vacation here in Montpellier. Lots of sun and great people. I think I could stay here a little longer than expected. Does that say Bob? I think so. And there's an address. Struggle to read that, but yeah, there's a postcard. Wonder who that is. Okay. Um. Show to B12. What, I wonder what happens if you show it to him. The outside. We will see the sky again, I promise. Okay, and the memories. Let's look at the memory. Wait, I remember. The outside. Ah, okay, it's the. Basically, that cutscene is the memory. Alright, let's keep going. Go down the stairs. Meow. To let people know we are coming. Anything in there? Nope. Luckily not. How do we get through? Um, yep, yeah, let's just, just climb. I think we need to go that way, so... No.
nope, not the. Let's go down. And down. Oh, he went up, actually. Alright. That works too. Here we go, we drop down. Climb up there, but nothing really of that significant importance. Um, oh, then we can translate this now, apparently. Translation. Safe zone. Ah, okay, so the our little friend B12 helps translate the signs for us, which is good. And that sign, the blue one above the translation, is that, it looks like an old man with like a toddler or something. It's all very, very dystopian, like it's... I wonder what would happen to the world if humans didn't exist, like they suddenly went extinct. Maybe something like this would happen. And like the AI would just take over. That's something that... I remember watching a video like that, and I've also heard, right, that they they developed AI, and then the AI and the other AI began talking to each other in code. And then they had to shut it down because it's too dangerous. So yeah, the AI is fascinating and this kind of stuff is exciting to think about. But yeah, let's go with second cable car trip. Ooh, what are those? Oh, those are the Zerks that took like 15 hours for us to get through without one of them latching onto us. Okay. Alright, um, yeah luckily they can't get to us up here, and um, yeah that is the end of chapter 3 actually guys, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough as much as I enjoyed playing it, but yeah once again thank you very much for watching, goodbye, ta-da, see you next time.